What's going on everyone? Welcome to another feature content update video. And as you can see on your screen, we're talking about updates to Autoprinter. Now, for those of you that aren't using Autoprinter currently and are wondering what it is, uh, Autoprinter is a piece of software that you can install on a Windows machine and set up events to trigger print jobs. And those print jobs will send directly to your computer and then will print out uh, you know, labels, eight and a half by 11 documents, things like that. Uh, you can also optionally have it automatically save PDFs to the local machine as well using uh, the Microsoft print to PDF printer with air quotes. Anyway, uh, we're gonna cover all of the new things about auto printer, including the UI, the navigation, how to install it. So let's jump into it. First new thing is that auto printer can now be accessed through the app center. There's an auto printer app card. And what you're looking at here is the app cards detail page it gives you the brief instructions on how to download and install it. You just click the download button and then an MSI will download into your downloads folder and you can run that. Uh, before you go all the way through that though, another new thing with auto printer is that you need to authenticate using an API token. There's a whole video dedicated to API tokens. I would recommend going to check that out or the knowledge base. I'm not gonna go too far into it, but on the API tokens page, we have a pre-built token template already for you. So you don't need to worry about going in and clicking all the various permissions or anything like that. You just come to the new tokens page, hit create token, give it a name and an expiration and all of that stuff if you want, and then grab the API key and you'll be ready to run the installer. When you run the installer, there's a, a new UI. You authenticate in with, like I said, your API token and your subdomain. <clears throat> and then this new auto printer window will pop up. Uh, starting on the left-hand side, this is the navigation panel. Uh, you can expand it or uh, collapse it. Uh, jobs, this page is meant to kind of act like a print queue of sorts. It shows you what actions are going through auto printer at any given particular time, any given particular time, excuse me, and acts as sort of like a, a history. So you can see what's downloaded and what's run with some additional information. The next tab is the settings tab. This is where most of you are gonna interact with auto printer. Here, if you have a uh, big chain, you can choose the locations to print just like you could before. Uh, we've cleaned the UI up a lot so that it's easier to navigate and know what's on and off. And uh, you can choose your printers here. Uh, and then down below, if you're using the registers, you can select your register. If it's uh, single-sided or double-sided, you can rotate the prints just like you could before. Uh, the events section is the place where you tell auto printer what events to look out for and what to print and things like that, set the number of quantity. So uh, the enabled column is the manual print enabled. So what that means is, is if I have custom label turn or customer label turned on, if I were to go into repair shopper and manually say I print a customer label, it'll send that customer label print job to my Canon printer here. If I had auto print turned on, now if I were to create a customer, auto printer would, would receive a job from repair shopper to just go ahead and automatically print that label out. Um, you can intermix those however you see fit. Uh, often for a lot of you, I imagine you're gonna have tickets and assets set to automatically print labels so that you don't need to remember how to do them. And then yes, gone are the, the uh, sliders that I've heard so much uh, disdain for. Uh, and now you can hit plus and minus. You can also manually type into it uh, as well. So uh, that's the events page, pretty straightforward stuff. The next section is the logs section. And what this is, is a place to, that shows more of the nitty gritty details. Like for instance, what we're looking at here is when I turned auto printer on just before this video, it shows all of the various connections and there was a warning here. It's highlighted in yellow. So it's much easier to read and figure out what's going on. You can actually now filter by day and the types of logs. So it allows you to see what's going on in a much more clear way uh, than the previous version of auto printer did. 
the last section here is just the about section. Uh, you can restart the service here. Uh, if you're contacting technical support, you can export the logs, which is really nice. If you needed to sign out, you could do that here. And then we just uh, cite all of the technology we're using here as well. So uh, that's the new auto printer and a log in kind of like a, the, you know, overview of what's changed. Uh, gone are the days of you having to go down into the system tray and right click the menu to open up a different section and going back and forth. You can do it all within the app. I, I do also want to mention on the back end, the less shiny stuff, if you will, we've gone through and we've revamped large sections of the back end of auto printer. So overall, uh, reliability has gone up, uh, chances of it disconnecting have gone down and the performance has generally been improved overall based on community feedback from people that have been using the previous version iterations. So thank you for that. And again, this is auto printer. Uh, there's a brand new knowledge base up for it as well, which by the way, you can click this icon to get to. And I really hope everyone enjoys using this and, uh, yeah, thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.